But to think that this world came about in the same way that people gamble, random choice, well, let's put that to a test. This is an example that you can do in your home with your children. Take 10 marbles, number them one to 10, and put them inside of a bag and shake the bag. And then close your eyes without looking inside that bag, pull out number one, pull out marble number two, pull out marble number three, in that order. Just 10 marbles, that's all, five, 10. What do you think the chances are pulling out those 10 marbles in that order without looking at them? Does anybody here that's a mathematic genius, knows about calculus, knows the random chance? Does anybody know the chance? 26 million to one. That's only 10 marbles. That's called a micro example. Now let's go a little bit further out to a mic macro example. The Earth that we are on is one planet among nine, or some people say 11, in our solar system, isn't it? And our sun that gives energy and light and gravity is the center of our solar system. And our sun is only one star, and it happens to be one of the smaller stars in our galaxy called the Milky Way. And the Milky Way is only one of the smaller galaxies in the nebula called the Andromeda. And the Andromeda has itself millions of galaxies like the one that our sun is a part of. And there are millions or literally countless galaxies, clusters of galaxies like the Andromeda that have been predicted by sending out sound and light. And they have sent out sound and light that has never returned. Now all of this diverse order that we see in the heavens that we are able to somewhat calculate and predict that we call night and day, time, all of this is in order that allows us to calculate. Tell me, if you can't pull out 10 marbles in order, how did all of this come in order? Evidently, man didn't do it because man is only a drop of water on the earth, significantly nothing. You can't even see him if you get a certain distance. He's forgotten about.